Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I want to show you how you can put yourself in your presentation. All right, I was inspired by an Apple Keynote uh, tutorial where someone was putting a video into the slides. Now, the slides I'm using are HD exported out of um, PowerPoint. And I'll put a link in the description to a great tutorial. It's the only way I found how to export out 1920 by 1080 out of PowerPoint. I have the latest version of Office and just trying to get full-size slides was a nightmare. This guy figured it out, so go give him some love. All right, so let me show you the results and then we'll build it. So we've got presentations with just a simple dissolve. And on the left, uh, we've got a very large video showing for the presenter, different views, maybe different cameras or different zoom resolutions. I also wanted to show a vertical video uh, example. So this, imagine this is a phone video and you can do the exact same thing. Okay. So I've got a bunch of slides here and uh, I can just drag that whole thing down to the timeline and put my slides in here. Now, by the way, I've got a whole other tutorial uh, on working with the timing of slides and the timing of a voiceover. I'll link in the description where you can do um, a whole, it, if, well, you watch it, it's, it's amazing. Okay, so I think I do have these out of order a little bit, not really that important, uh, but here we go. We've got our slides in and let's bring in our first video. And of course, this video hides everything because it's on top. And you might think the best idea is to just scale this down, but in a wide video, it's going to be covering everything. So let's close that up, select the video and go to effects and search for transform. And we're going to add transform. So if the the clip is selected, double clicking adds it to the effects control. So we added transform and crop. So that's the order here, transform and then crop. So transform, I'm gonna scale this down and then change the crop, the right and left crop. So you can just turn that number up. I'm just dragging over the number and if you go back to position here, you're moving the position inside. So if you want to move the whole thing, that's where you go to, to motion settings and move that around. So it really is a combination of all three of these. And scaling this up and down is gonna be scaled in here, so you can also scale that. So it's a few different controls, but you get the idea. Um, the final results are in motion but in this transform and crop is where you can crop this and place it where you want. So there he is. You want the whole thing smaller, you go back to scale from motion and scale that up or down. You want to change the scale inside, then you go back to transform and change the scale here. Of course, you could add keyframes. I could keyframe him so that he started on the outside and then came in. Pretty simple stuff. And there's our presentation with him on the left. Now, let's grab the vertical video. Drag that one in. And it's an HD vertical video, so it, it's quite large. Uh, same thing here. I'll scale that down. And what's Easy with this is, depending on the framing of the individual, if it's like this person, you only have to crop the top and bottom. So unless you're moving him in the crop, you don't even need transform. Uh, we'll go back to our effects and just add crop. And this time, instead of the left and right, we'll just crop the top and the bottom. Go back up to motion and if you wanted to, you could double click here and move this around. Scale the whole thing up. 
and there it is. Pretty darn easy. And in this example, I just put a little, um, dropped in a lower third, and then some cross dissolves on the slides in the bottom. And of course, the timing of those slides would be based on what he's saying. But it's, it's really not that difficult. It, it's, the harder part is getting the slides out of uh, PowerPoint. Now, if you're coming from Keynote, you can export those out pretty darn easy. I haven't used Keynote in about uh, a decade, but I'm sure it's much easier than PowerPoint on spitting out those uh, 1920, 1080 slides, or it could be video. This, you can use this as a picture in picture thing if you wanted to. The whole presentation on the bottom layer can be a video and you're just sticking a cropped and transformed video on top. So uh, in this example and the keynote example that I was inspired from was about a video of someone talking about presentations that they had. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Support us uh, monthly or once, any amount. We love our wonderful donors um, and all the support you've given us over the years. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get inspired by uh, some things that are out there that I see or read or see or questions that I get and turn them into, I think, very useful tutorials. <laughs>